Let's get cut one ready, Mr. Bedus. I want you to listen to this. This is not getting that much attention on network TV. None. Cable TV, almost none. But I think it's a big deal. Evelyn Farkas was Deputy Assistant Secretary at the Pentagon for Barack Obama. And she's on with Mika Brzezinski on the Morning Schmo Show. Cut one, go. You actually knew about this uh, attempt to get and preserve information, and full transparency, we're doing some work yourself. Tell us well, about that. Well, I was I was urging my former colleagues and and frankly speaking, the people on the Hill. Mm -hmm. I, it was more actually aimed aimed at telling the Hill people get as much information as you can, get as much intelligence as you can before President Obama leaves the administration, because I had a fear that somehow that information would disappear with the senior people who left, so it would be hidden away in the bureau. Bureaucracy, um, that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about their the staff, the Trump staffs dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods, meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. So I became very worried because <laughs> not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew that there was more. We have very good intelligence on Russia. So then I had talked to some of my former colleagues, and I knew that they were trying to also help get information to the Hill. A lot going on today. Yeah. Mark That's Alton. why you have the leaking. Exactly. People are worried. Good Lord, ladies and gentlemen. These are at least some fingerprints. Now let's break this down. So it would be hidden away in the bureaucracy that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about there, the staff, the Trump staffs dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods, meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. So I became very worried because not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew there was more. We have very good intelligence on Russia. So then I had talked to some of my former colleagues, that's in the Obama administration, and knew that they were trying to also help get the information to the Hill. Now, a couple things have been verified here by this witness. Fact is, she's more than a witness. She's a perpetrator. What do we have here? They have intelligence information, they said, on the staff, the Trump staff's dealings with Russians. I'm quoting this. That they would try to compromise those sources and methods. So they had sources, they had methods, they had intelligence information on Trump staff's quote-unquote dealings with Russians. She's a deputy assistant secretary at defense. Let me explain to you what that means. A deputy assistant secretary is a senior executive position. It is a political appointee. Not a civil servant, a political appointee who reports to an assistant secretary. Now, it's not even a ultra senior political appointee. It's not a presidential appointee. So even though she is a senior executive political appointee at the Pentagon, I know this. I used to handle presidential personnel as an associate director to uh, President Reagan uh, for some of the departments and agencies. So I want you to listen to this. This is important. You have a senior executive political appointee who is really mid-tier in terms of hierarchy at the Defense Department. She had access to sources and methods, she said. She had access to the intelligence, she said. She wanted it shared and tried to get it shared with members of Congress on the Hill. She talked to some of her former colleagues. Former colleagues, meaning they were out of office, I take it at this point. I knew they were trying to also help get the information to the Hill. This is a smoking gun. Not in every particular, but in enough particulars. Evelyn Farkas needs to be a witness in front of the House and Senate Intelligence Committees. She also needs to be interviewed 
by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And I'm sure the press will stalk her. Now, I want to play this one more time because this is being swept under the rug by the statist Praetorian Guard media. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Right, Jake Tapper? Right, Brian Ross? Morning Schmo sitting there. Too busy looking in the mirror to even understand what just happened on his own damn show. Let's play it again. Cut one. Go. You actually knew about this uh, attempt to get and preserve information, and full transparency, we're doing some work yourself. Tell us well, about I that. Well, was, I was urging my former colleagues and, and frankly speaking, the people on the Hill. Mm -hmm. I, it was more actually aimed, aimed at telling the Hill people, get as much information as you can, get as much intelligence as you can before President Obama leaves the administration, because I had a fear that somehow that information would disappear with the senior people who left. So it would be hidden away in the bureaucracy. Um, that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about their the staff, the Trump staff's dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods, meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. So I became very worried because mm. not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew that there was more. We have very good intelligence on Russia. So then I had talked to some of my former colleagues, and I knew that they were trying to also help get information to the Hill. A lot going on today. Yeah. Mark That's Alton. why you have the leaking. Exactly. People are worried. This is amazing to me. Is it not amazing to you, Mr. Producer? This is, this is stunning to me. This is an Obama administration official. This is everything I've said. And we also know. Again, this has nothing to do with Nunes and what was revealed to him, which is a big deal, too. Ladies and gentlemen, do we or do we not need to get to the bottom of the Obama administration's use of intelligence uh, agencies and the intelligence apparatus in the federal government and the use of the intelligence information? This, this lady can't take it upon herself to reveal information. But look at the information she had. One more time, she worked at the Defense Department. As I understand it, Deputy Assistant Secretary. Not at the NSA, not at the FBI. So the information had been circulating in the lower tiers of the Obama administration, which means it was also circulating at the higher tiers of the Obama administration. She also knew that some of her former colleagues had the information. And she knew they were trying to get the information out. This is stunning. On national TV, now I understand four people watch the morning schmo, and I'm not one of them. Four people watch the morning schmo, but here we have it, thanks to my buddy Brian at Right Scoop, who alerted me to this. So it would be hidden away in the bureaucracy that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about there, the staff, the Trump staff's dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods. Sources and methods. That's a technical phrase. Meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. That's a technical word. So I became very worried because not enough was coming out into the open. And I knew there was more. Not enough was coming out into the open, but she knew there was more. We have very good intelligence. Intelligence. On Russia. So then I talked to some of my former colleagues, and I knew that they were trying to also help get information to the Hill. Then Brzezinski, a lot going on today, genius. Farkas, yeah, Halpern. But Farkas interrupts. But that's why you have the leaking. Brzezinski, exactly. Farkas, people are worried. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, I know the Praetorian Guard status media will circle the wagons and pretend this is a non-story. Or they'll circle the wagons and they'll start their, uh, their textualist reading of the transcript, which, of course, they will never apply to the Constitution. But they will spin. They will twist. Then they will attack me. But I don't care. We're going to get to the bottom of this one way or another.